slides kind of very well. I like how the guy's looking left. I wish you'd do that in the cockpit. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. So I decided to hop on Forza Motorsport 7 because we got a car pack release to us. Right now we're just staring at that beautiful Forza Edition BMW in basically a Kevlar carbon paint scheme with the Energy Innovations logos, of course. Rocking that new Totino's Pizza Rolls uh, driver's gear. So like I said, we did get new cars. So we're going to try those cars out today and see how they drive. Have a little fun with them. We're just gonna do a random, we're gonna go track to track, so we're just gonna continue next track, but we're just gonna, you know, go from where they give us. So we'll start in Long Beach. So the car packs was pretty good. Some of the cars are really good. Some of the cars are not so much like I would expect to be in a motorsports game, but I forgot to turn drive cars off. So like I said, we're gonna take a look at those cars here. So the first one was this 2017 four-door alpha we're gonna give this a shot rip this around the track and uh see how this thing drives and or drifts because you know we'll try and drift it at some point in today's episode this thing uh sounds pretty cool because it's already turboed so we're gonna rip this thing around try and drive it in a grip situation and probably end up sliding it also there we go i have been getting a lot used to third person more than i have been before so i am enjoying third person too because the sounds are a lot different outside. First impressions on this car, though. Sounds good. It's got a nice lot of crackle to it. Ooh, it already wants to get sideways, just easing into that throttle. Like I said, there was some good cars. Like, this is one of the cars I expect to drive some from the car pack. If you guys got the car pack with the car pass, let me know what you guys think about the cars in the car pack. Well, this thing just wants to get sideways. So, of course, you know we're going to rip this thing sideways. There we go. Ooh, not into the wall, but into the wall. Didn't want to wreck it, but we already wrecked it. We're going to try and throw it in this turn. Ooh, it definitely oversteers. That's for sure. Definitely want to do a build up on this car for sure. This thing uh, seems like it would be a lot of fun. Ooh, we just missed the tire barrier. We're good. All right, so this, this Alpha is definitely on the top of the list for fun cars to drive right now. We're hitting that section that Formula D drives in. At Long Beach, we're not going to make that turn. I don't know how we did. I'm going to rip this sideways. Just a tap on the wall. Cracking the taillight. We're good. Wow, that thing actually handles really well. Wow. So we uh, just cracked our tail light with that little wall tap, but we're good. This thing uh, is a lot of fun to drive. We're going to rip it in first person in car to get a little feel of it in car right now. Ooh. There we go. Brakes on it are actually really good. But it does oversteer very much in second gear, so... If you are in second in this car, we'll oversteer. Probably will be doing a build on this car soon. Try and run this almost in a grip style right now. I was worried about hitting those tires. Gain control. We're good. I do like the silver uh, Alfa Romeo emblem in the center of that steering wheel. It kind of reminds me of a BMW steering wheel. But I don't like the fact that there's the, the start-stop buttons on the wheel. You could probably hit that if you're ripping this car around sideways and grabbing the wheel the wrong way. There we go. Those bright orange and red or yellow and red uh, Totino's Pizza Rolls outfit. Did get that from uh, the codes on, you know, Pizza Rolls. Did get a car too. We got a Zonda. But I was more excited about the driver's gear. 
Oh, and the fact that I got to eat the pizza rolls, but, you know. So, first car in the car pack. This thing just wants to get sideways, so we're just going to keep going with it. First car in the car pack. Definitely going to be a fun car to mess around with. So I think it's time to switch it up and go to another car. Next car on the pack is that 2017 Fiat 124 Spider Abarth. This car looks like it's going to be definitely a lot of fun with it being, you know, a small little two-door. Kind of like a Miata in a scent. So we're here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in this Fiat. We're going to rip it. Is the top down? Or is the top up? And we got the top down. That driver's gear, though. All right, so here we go. Second car in the car pack. Not as quick as the first one, but I feel like we can still have a lot of fun with this car. I think we're going to send it right away. Uh, I don't think the power is there to get this thing sideways. I mean, kind of. Oh, you'd have to throw a lot of into this to get it go sideways on this stock for power. Like that, kind of. I mean, it slides, but power is definitely lacking. But I do want to build up this car because I feel like this car would be so much fun with a lot of power. Ooh. Stay sideways. Nope. <laughs> The power is not there. It's kind of like a stock Miata, but I don't think it was meant to go sideways. So this car is kind of fun though. I do like how it looks. See what the interior looks like. I like the giant screen in the middle that just tells you exactly what you're driving. If you did not know what you're driving, you're driving the Fiat. It handles very well, actually. It could be because I'm used to coming through these sections at a lot higher speed. And then we'll get sideways on you. There we go. It handles pretty well. I don't like the giant reflection of my gloves on the, on the window, though. That'll get rid of it. Then the gauges are all weird. So the second car, not... Not as nice as the first car, but this car probably will be a monster if it's built up. Definitely for sure. So I think uh, I think I've had my fun of this car right now. Romanji down the straight. In fifth gear. Oh! And we wrecked it. Is the Honda 2015 Honda Ridgeline Baja Trophy Truck. Um, like I said, I'm not sure why they gave us trophy trucks because there is absolutely no off-road. But if this is like the other trophy truck I drove, this thing might get really sideways. Oof. Uh, I feel like you almost have to drive this thing in first person in order to see where you are going. So we're gonna try and throw this because the other trophy truck I drove was a pretty good drift car, so. Oh, this thing's a this thing's a brute. I mean, the turbo sounds cool. So it's not like the other trophy truck I drove. But we're going to see if we can't get it to slide. There we go. I feel like there's no places that we could really take this thing off-road because they don't have any off-road tracks. So I'm kind of confused why they gave us trophy trucks. When there's no off-road or jumps or anything, there's no like stadium cross races or anything on those lines, but I mean, I guess it is kind of fun, but I, I do like the digital dash in the center, but like I said, this, I mean, what are we going to do with this other than just run it around and, you know bash people because I feel like this is something people are going to use in open lobbies for just ramming. Send this to this S section. I think we're going to change cars because 
This is not that entertaining. I mean, now we're off-road with it, but... It, it's just a... I mean, if you had a lot of friends that built drift trucks, I, I feel like this would be a fun truck to drive, but... For in the motorsports game, I really don't think that this was a very... Very good choice to put into the game. So with that being said, we're going to switch cars. Next car we got on the dock from our pack was the 1957 Maserati 250F. This car looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to send this car here in Indianapolis. Um, I feel like we're going to try and grip, grip this thing, but it's going to just want to kick sideways. Those giant exhaust pipes. Make sure you careful when you get out of that car you don't burn yourself there we go I feel so weird driving this thing brakes are not that great and it it already wants to get sideways because I feel like the traction is not really there but we're gonna send it I feel like these cars didn't have e-brakes back then, so it kind of de kind of destroys the realism of it. But it's definitely fun. Oh, we're gonna go too far. No, we're not. Save it. Wow, actually, this thing slides kind of very well. I like how the guy's looking left. I wish you'd do that in the cockpit. We get a cockpit. Look at that very simple wood grain Maserati wheel. Trying to run this thing in a grip. I mean, it grips pretty well for being the age of the, the car. This thing grips and being how narrow those tires are. It does grip. I feel like I could have fun racing with this car, a couple of my buddies and whatnot, but I do believe there is a race series that I have to race with this. Check out the, those like drums in the front. So I will be using this in a racing series. I think it's pretty quick. Uh, don't hit the wall. We're going to try and throw this in extremely hard. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. Probably the owner of this old vintage Maserati is probably not going to be happy with me. But it's not a rental car. It's ours. It did take the time and bought all of them to increase my... We're going to miss that turn to increase my car collection level. This thing actually drifts pretty good. Get a bunch of people in, do some vintage drifting. Damn, this thing just revs. I forgot this thing revs almost to 9,500 if not 10 grand. I think it's 9,500 RPM this thing revs to and I keep forgetting that. There we go. I like the fact that there's no brake lights, so if somebody in front of you were braking one of these, you would not know. Look at this! What? Get out of here. <laughs> this thing slides so nice. This would be one of those cars you bring into a drift lobby and everybody's like, wait, what are you doing? And then you're just, then you just walk on them, you know, and get in their doors with, you know, your big front tires. I mean, it has the angle to hold itself. That suspension is so soft, though. Oh, nope, too much. Here we go. All right, I'm having a lot of fun with this car. This car is fun. I mean, look at that. Ah, uh, now I want to take this into a drift lobby. If I say that for another episode, though. Vintage drift lobby. All right, so de definitely this car is a lot of fun to drive. Nice, the 1984 Nissan Coca-Cola Bluebird Super Stallion. Ah, uh, I stand corrected. There might be another car that's a lot of that was a lot of fun in this pack. I totally forgot this was in the pack. So we're definitely gonna see how this thing drives. Oh god, it sounds amazing, and that interior looks mint. Oh, 
Oh, this thing's loud. Look at that stripped interior. Is that my boost gauge? That is. That's a very old boost gauge. Ooh. Okay. That's that interior is sweet. Ooh, I missed it. All right, here we go. You know we're gonna try and send this, but it it's got so much downforce. I don't think it's gonna work. I did remember seeing somebody trying to drift this in a drift lobby. This is definitely not a drift car. This car sounds good. It's pretty. It handles very well, but it's got that huge front, like, I'm going to plow the ground splitter in the front of this car. There we go. The turn in, the handling, oh, there it goes. Now it wants to step out a little bit. It wants to drift when I don't want it to. It doesn't really have steering angle to be a drift car, but it's not meant to be. But this car does go when you want it to. Go. See how good the we're gonna test the brakes on this car. See how good the brakes are. Ooh. 160, 160. Wow, 165. I bet you this was pretty dang fast for back in the day. Braking's good. Of course, I do have ABS on. I keep forgetting that, but. It is all right. ABS was on for a, a mod car for when I was ripping through some of the career. So now I know now we're going to have to grab that Porsche. No. Oh, wow. We actually made that. Not going to make that. All right. Time to get the Porsche because I know there is a truck left, but I, I don't know how that car that truck is going to do. That, so overall, I think my favorite so far is the Alpha so far in this car pack. Next car on the list, the 1978 Porsche number 78, Momo 935-78. Yup, this car is going to be quick and probably sound amazing. So we're going to give this thing a rip here. Oof. Oh, yeah. It sounds sick already. Oh, it's quick. Take a look inside. I love that, that tachometer. Turning's good. Ooh. It wants to get loosey-goosey on me. There we go. This Porsche sounds so amazing. Hold that. There we go. Dang, that backfire. I don't think that backfire came from the exact exhaust tips. I could be mistaken, but I don't think it did. I'm going to have to wait to see another backfire and see if it does. But this car is quick. Holy cow. Yeah, it's quick. Once again, I was not paying attention. I don't think it came from the center. I think it came from on the outsides. It handles well, though. It doesn't really want to get sideways. Oh, there's four. That's why it looked like it came weird. Because there's four exhaust tips on this thing. Oh, this thing's quick. There we go. Coming around. See if we can grip up. This thing grips. Holy cow. Are we going to crack 200? Oh, yeah. We, we should definitely crack 200. Oh, my God. And it just stops almost on a dime. Okay, this Porsche is going to be a lot of fun to race. It's quick, though. Will it drift, though? Wrong gear. Not meant to drift. I, I mean, I knew it wasn't meant to drift, so 
I think we got one more car in this pack for this episode. Let's go check out that car. Or should I say truck? Because it's not really a car. Where are you? Don't remember what you were. I think you were a Toyota. Yep, there you are. Last car in the car pack we got was the 2016 Land Cruiser Arctic truck. So I'm not having any type of feels for this thing because it's it's truck. So I mean, not expecting much. I'm really not sure why they gave us Land Cruisers, and I can't see really anything. Just looks like a Land Cruiser. Nothing fancy. Acceleration is super slow. And what's the point? Kind of a disappointment that this car is even in here. I mean, they could have given us something else and it doesn't even drift. What is the point of this truck in a motorsport game? I could see it being in a horizon. I don't really get why they gave it to us in a motorsport. But I have no idea. But that's it. That's the car pack. Um, a lot of dislikes and likes in the car pack. A lot of cool cars. A lot of cars I don't like. Whichever cars you do like, let me know down in the comment section down below which ones you guys like. I prefer that Fiat and the Maserati and the Alfa Romeo. Definitely going to do a build probably on that Fiat little uh, two-door convertible. Well, that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Looking into the car pack we just got. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoying the car pack on some of the cars. Like I said, I'm not sure why there are trucks in motorsports, but there it is. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Until next time, guys. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.